This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. A new way to pay for parking in downtown Hazleton, and we recognize Recovery Month with Pathway to Recovery, plus our local sports scoreboard. That and more next. Hello and thanks for watching today. I'm Ken Carr with your local information. A new solar-powered touchscreen parking system that offers more options to motorists is being installed in Hazleton. According to a press release from Hazleton Public Transit, the city is replacing its aging single-space parking meters with new Flowbird CWT smart parking kiosks. This new technology features pay-by-plate parking kiosks and a full-color touchscreen display that is accessible for all customers and meets ADA standards. Users simply enter their license plate number and desired length of stay. Payment can be made by coins, debit, or credit card. And more time can be added at any time either in person or via cell phone. The new kiosks will also save the city time and money. Similar systems are being used in Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Scranton, Jim Thorpe, and Williamsport. The installation of the new pay stations is underway and the system will be live in October. There's an organization in downtown Hazleton that's always ready to help those battling addiction. Here's Janine Lassant with today's news feature. September is National Recovery Month and we're here at Pathway to Recovery to talk about some of the services that they offer. I'm with Eileen Panzarella, she is the Prevention Director and also Christy Scheib, she is the Clinical Director and thank you for having SSP TV in during National Recovery Month. Tell us about the services that you offer please. Sure. So I uh, am in the prevention department mm -hmm. and our department, uh, we are working with the American Lung Association to help people that want to become free of nicotine addiction. And that. So this would be a good month, recovery month, you know, uh, to stop their nicotine addiction. We offer the Freedom from Smoking program, which is an eight session program. We can conduct it in person. We can have groups going individually. We could also do it over the phone for people who are still, you know, not comfortable meeting in person. And we provide the nicotine replacement therapy. That means the patch, the gum, the lozenge. And this is all for free no insurance involved they just need to give us a call and we'll get them started enrolled um, and get them going on it and help them through you know the process of quitting smoking now put you on the spot are there any statistics you could give us with how many people are still smoking as we know the danger that uh, is around smoking itself well, you know, actually the smoking rate is dropping Good. and that so we are down for adult smoking. It is down to around 10 percent only of the population. So that is good news. Uh, and if someone's vaping too, you know, we could help them with anything vaping, chewing tobacco as well. But yeah, we're working on getting that down is zero. Now would you say the older generation is more smoking, the younger generations are more vaping? Mm -hmm. Definitely, that's what we're seeing. Uh, the Both older, are bad. Right. <laughs> And that, but we're seeing that with the younger generation. We're Very trying good. to get info out to them as well. And Christy, you handle the clinical services here, so uh, talk about uh, that and the counseling. So we have um, our drug and alcohol and our mental health um, department. Mm -hmm. um, in our drug and alcohol department, we offer outpatient services. Um, our highest level of care here at the agency is our intensive outpatient program. Um, we currently have several different groups that are currently running, so we also offer the group counseling. Um, we are looking to um, expand our mental health department. We've implemented um, various uh, groups that we want to get back up and running. Um, so on our outpatient uh, mental health side, we'll have the individual uh, group session and the group sessions. Very good. Uh, there's a lot of information to talk about. September, again, National Recovery Month. If you want information about any of the services that Pathway to Recovery offers, you can call them, you can check out the website, or you can check them out on social media. Today's news feature is brought to you by Falvello Law Firm. Have you been injured in a car accident? Call Falvello Law Firm. Your case is our fight. 
Time now for weather on SSPTV News. The National Weather Service has issued a frost advisory for our area from 1 a.m. to 8 a.m. on Friday. Frost could kill sensitive outdoor vegetation if left uncovered. Here's our full forecast from the National Weather Service on Friday, partly sunny with a high near 62 degrees. Friday night, a 20% chance of showers after 2 a.m. It'll be mostly cloudy with a low around 46 degrees. Saturday, a 40% chance of showers mainly after 8 a.m. It will be cloudy with a high near 57 degrees. Saturday night, a 30% chance of showers mostly cloudy with a low around 47 degrees. Sunday, a 30% chance of showers, partly sunny with a high near 61 degrees. Saturday night, mostly cloudy with a low around 41 degrees. Monday is mostly sunny with a high near 58 degrees. And Monday night, partly cloudy with a low around 40 degrees. Let's talk cross country on the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. The Mono area girls swept by Schuylkillhaven, Tri Valley, and Weatherly. Kaylee Sangler, Felicia Bro, Lexi Chalinskas, and Emma Price placed second, third, fourth, and fifth for the Lady Bears. Marion's Emma Ashford and Ava Fritz placed second and third as the Phillies beat Gillingham Charter, Nativity, and Shenandoah Valley. Shenandoah Valley beat Nativity and Gillingham Charter, but lost to Marion with Brianna Golden placing fourth. Tamaqua, Samantha Plasha was fourth as the Lady Raiders took one of three at their meet. The Marion boys swept their Schuylkill League Division III meet with Albin Petschauer winning the race. Aiden Zamudio was third for Shenandoah Valley as they beat Gillingham Charter but lost to Nativity and Marion. The Tamaqua boys took two of three in a Schuylkill League Division I meet. The Raiders' Anthony Marchetti was third. Mono Area beat Schuylkill Haven but lost to Tri-Valley and Weatherly. William Mayberry finished third for Monoy. Coming up next, details on a Christmas card contest that's open to students in the Hazelton area. Then Anna and Tabby will win your heart in our Adopt Me segment from the Hazelton Animal Shelter. In sports, Fred Barletta Jr., a sports journalist, former coach, and current athletic director in our area, talks about life before and after Title IX and how it helped propel women's sports in our area and around the country. Come celebrate the 75th Diamond Anniversary of the Hazelton Art League on Saturday, October 15th with an event called Diamonds and Denim at the Hayden Family Center for the Arts in downtown Hazelton. Tickets are $75. For more information and to purchase tickets, go to hazeltonartleague.org. The Schuylkill County Historical Society has several upcoming events, including their haunted history tours and a few discussions. For more information on all of these events, call 570-622-754 or you can find the Schuylkill County Historical Society on Facebook. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of the following. Gloria J. Ita, 90 of Hazelton. Services are private. The Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home in Hazelton is assisting the family. Joseph J. Mako Jr., 77, formerly of Freeland. At his request, there will be no services. Edna F. Drum, 93 of Drums. There will be a service held in the future. The Harmon Funeral Home in Drums is assisting the family. Eugene G. O'Donnell, 95 of Mountaintop. Mass is Monday at 10 a.m. at St. Gabriel's Church in Hazelton. Friends and family may call Monday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the church. The Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home in Hazelton is handling arrangements. And Emmanuel D. Manicor, 87. The service is Thursday at 7 p.m. at the Ferro Funeral Home in Hazelton. Friends and family may call Thursday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the funeral home. The obituary report is brought to you by Moran Funeral Home, third generation family owned funeral home serving all faiths since 1939. Located at 229 West 12th Street in Hazelton, call 570 454 8341 and go to moranfuneralhome.com.